Right now, Fox 5's Crime in the City. Here's what's happening. First, a man slashes a woman in a random New York City subway attack. Police continue to look for the man who choked and slashed a woman on the Lower East Side. It happened at about 4 a.m. yesterday. Surveillance video showing that man following the 19-year-old victim down the stairs of the F train station at the corner of Delancey and Essex Streets. That's when he attacks her. The young woman is recovering tonight at a hospital. A Bronx man is shot in the chest by fake delivery workers. This is surveillance video from inside the building last Wednesday around 930 in the morning in the Mott Haven section. It shows the two men. One was wearing a FedEx shirt and carrying a box knocked on the victim's apartment door. Now, police say the suspects shot the 23 year old resident who opened that door. They took his cell phone and fled. The victim was taken to the hospital in stable condition. The NYPD is asking for the public's help tracking down two brazen robbers who ripped a purse off a woman and then dragged her along a sidewalk in Brooklyn. The brazen attack happened near 57th Street and 8th Avenue in Sunset Park Sunday night. Investigators say the suspects pulled the victim's purse right off her shoulders as they rode by. They got away with her cell phone and $700 in cash. If you recognize them, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 800-577-TIPS. The suspect in the Q train shooting is arraigned. The victim's family was not in court tonight, Steve and Lori, this afternoon, I should say, to hear the suspect in this matter enter a plea of not guilty. 25-year-old Andrew Abdullah was arraigned Wednesday on charges including second-degree murder. Authorities say Abdullah is the person who opened fire on a Q train near the Canal Street station last month and fatally shot 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez, who was on his way to Sunday brunch. Police say the attack was unprovoked, and Enriquez was an innocent victim. Prosecutors say Abdullah was identified in part by witnesses during a suspect lineup. His attorney, Kristen Bruin, however, raised issue with the process in court Wednesday afternoon. I personally witnessed five people do lineups and not identify my client. Authorities say Andrew Abdullah is a career criminal and also has gang ties. The judge ordered he be remanded until his next court appearance, to which Bruin and the Legal Aid Society must now prepare for. Personally, the hardest part is the public assuming guilt because the police said that they got him. Andrew Abdullah charged with second degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon. He is back in court, Lori, on July 13th. A gunman chases a victim in broad daylight before shooting him in the leg. Police are searching for a gunman they say assaulted and shot a man in Brooklyn. It happened on Williams Avenue in East New York back on June 4th. Investigators say a verbal dispute became physical between the 21-year-old victim and that gunman. The victim was shot in the thigh and taken to an area hospital. If you have any information about this suspect, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-577-TIPS. The NYPD is investigating a double shooting that left a woman dead and a 53-year-old man critically injured. It happened on the second floor of a building on Pulaski Street in Bed-Stuy. Police say a woman was killed after being shot numerous times. A 53-year-old man was also shot in the back. He's hospitalized in critical condition. Officials say one person has been taken into custody and that they recovered a gun at the scene. And finally, the NYPD is on the hunt for five men behind dozens of robberies of ATMs in stores across Brooklyn and Queens. You can see the images here. Investigators say the suspects have targeted bodegas, check cashing sites, and nail salons over the past six months, several different sites. They say the men broke front doors and windows and then dragged the ATM machines out by hand, getting away with more than $60,000 in cash. If you recognize the suspects, maybe some of their clothing, something along those lines, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-577-TIPS. That's this week's Crime in the City.